Hi, everybody. Okay, here is your review video for probably our toughest lesson of eighth grade yet. When you're given two coordinate pairs and you need to write an equation in slope intercept form. So I'm going to do two examples for you today. For the first one, I'm going to walk you through kind of like that template that we've been using in class where I really guide you step by step. For the second one, I'm going to show you realistically what your process will look like because when I give you your summative, you're not going to have the template there. You're not going to have me walking you through step by step. So we'll do one of each just to make sure that we are ready. But this is lesson 3.4, writing equations in slope intercept form from two points, two coordinate pairs. Okay, so here we go. So imagine you are sitting there and I give you your test and I say, okay, I need you to write an equation from the coordinate pairs that you see, 3, 8, and 5, 14. Now, you know how to do the first part. We're going to solve for m using slope formula. Now, remember, slope formula looks like this. Hopefully, we've done this enough times where you remember <laughs> what this formula is. Um, notice, I labeled all your points for you up here. You're going to have to do that on your own. So let's go ahead and plug in our values. I know that y2 is 14. I know that y1 is 8. I know that x2 is 5. And I know that x1 is 3. So we plugged in our values, and then we're just going to simplify. Now, when you get 6 over 2, ask yourself, what is 6 divided by 2? And please tell me that you said 3 in your head. Okay, so we solve for m. We found that m is 3. Yay, yay you. Now, here's the tough part. We know that m is 3, so we can plug that into our little framework for slope-intercept form. But our big goal right now is that we want to solve for b, okay? To figure out how you're going to get your b, we need to pick one of our coordinate pairs. And again, we're going to pick whichever one looks easier. Maybe it's your lower numbers. Maybe it's only positives. In this case, I'm just going to pick this first one here. Okay, so my y value from the coordinate pair that I chose is 8. And then my x value is 3. Now, you've seen me in class. Every time that I plug in my values to the little template, I always like us to rewrite it nice and neatly right below. So I've got 8 equals... 3 times 3 is 9, and then plus b. Now, our goal is to solve for b to isolate it, to get it by itself. So to move over a positive 9, we need to do the opposite. So the opposite of a positive 9 is a negative 9, or we're going to subtract it. And when I do that, 8 take away 9 is a negative 1. So yay, you solve for b, you got negative 1. Now, your very last part here is you need to take the m and the b and plug it into your slope-intercept equation. So you've got y equals, I know that my general format is y equals, okay, mx plus b. So m is 3, so you get 3x plus your b value is negative 1. Okay, this is the, this is the method where Miss LeVan is holding your hand. This is what you are going to see realistically, not only in ninth grade, but on your assessment. Okay. So here we go. You are given two coordinate pairs and I'm asking you to write an equation in slope intercept form. Okay. The first thing that we're always going to do is we're going to solve for M using slope formula. Before you can do anything like that, please, please. Oh my gosh. My computer is malfunctioning. Um, please label your coordinate pairs. I promise you it'll make your life easy. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve for m. So here's what my formula looks like. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug in my values. Now, be careful here. I chose negatives on purpose so that you can take the time to really see what it looks like to practice the process. So negative 5, take away another 2, meaning you're moving more negative, is going to be negative 7. On the bottom, when you subtract a negative, that turns into addition. I know you've seen me do this a hundred times in front of you. I'm so sorry. Um, six plus one gives you seven. Seven over seven is just one, and then we need to add the negative. So m is equal to negative one. Ugh. All right, you're almost there. So you got m. Now we need to solve for b. Okay, this is the complicated part without that little format that I gave you. So here's what we've got. Even me, myself, as your math teacher, I still write out this like little open template for myself just to kind of help me solve for B, 
Okay. So we're solving for B. I can fill in M right away. I already know that M is negative one. And then I just need to plug in a Y and an X. You can pick either coordinate pair. It does not matter. I'm just going to pick this first one here. I know my Y value is two. My X value is negative one. Now we need to simplify. I've got two equals negative one times negative one is a positive one plus B. I need B alone. So I need to move that positive one to the other side. The opposite of a positive one is a negative one. So we're going to subtract it from both sides. Two minus one is one. So one is equal to B. All right. So here's what I've got. You did all your hard work. You solve for M using slope formula. You solve for B by plugging in your M and then one of your coordinate pairs. Now you need to put the finishing touches on it and you need to write your final equation. So you've got Y equals, I know that it's MX, which means I'm going to use negative one X plus B, which is one. Now you can also see it written like this, Y equals negative X plus one, because you don't always need that coefficient in front of the X. And that's your final answer. So my friends, hardest skill we've done so far. When you are writing equations from two points, you've got a few quick steps. Number one, you are going to label your points up here because I'm not going to do that for you all the time. You are going to solve for M using slope formula. You're going to solve for B by plugging in M and then picking one of your coordinate pairs. And then you are going to finish your process by plugging in the M and the B. Okay. So hopefully this helps you, especially when we're thinking about our summative next week. Thank you for working so hard this week. I have been so proud of you and I will see you tomorrow for Friday. All right. Thanks guys.